Dennis Prager was, the more prescient Dennis Prager was, right, the, the greater I was because I recognized his greatness and that I had, you know, a slender personal connection to, to Dennis Prager. You know, I was connected to, the, to this source of, of greatness and life and love. And it was, it was, uh, it was embarrassing <laughs> when I look back and see, you know, how eagerly I, you know, jumped into the Dennis Prager cult. But I, I did it from a place like maybe you, do you have above average levels of anxiety, above average levels of depression? Do you feel you know disconnected from people in your life? Are you unsatisfied with your real world alternatives? Then you'll find a virtual guru, a parasocial relationship with a YouTube personality or a talk show host. You know, it might fill you up. You might very well prefer it to flawed people that you know in real life because when you're getting it from a YouTube host or a podcaster or a radio talk show host, right? You're getting a performance. So Dennis Prager always says, you know, if you listen to me on the radio, that's who I am. That's me. But it's not. It's a performance. What I'm doing now is a performance. All right. Just because you hear me on YouTube or on a podcast doesn't know you know me. You're just getting one, you know, aspect of me. This is a, a performance. I have to use five to ten times the amount of energy talking here to my cam. All right, speaking across, we're live on YouTube. We are going out live on Twitter. We are live on my Facebook profile and my Facebook page. We are live on Odyssey and we are live on Rumble, right? And, you know, monitoring the, the sound quality and the, the visual quality and all these different platforms and the chat takes a tremendous amount of, of energy and it is a performance, all right? This is not, you know, the real 40. It's just, you know, one aspect. And so but when Dennis Prager says, oh, you know, what you get to know on the radio, that is the real me. It's not true. It's a performance, but it's, uh, it's very intoxicating because you feel like you're developing this, this parasocial you know, relationship. So it's interesting to watch the, the effect that Dennis has on his protege, right? The new Luke Ford, uh, Julie Hartman. Actively destructive of children.